Hey guys, I don't want to show off that you can have a fully local private for free voice agent running on your own computer just by running uh, this command. Uh, hey, I just want to show off that you work without the internet. Look, I have my wireless turned off. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, hello to the internet world. Once you upload this. Oh, I'm guessing you will. Um, yeah, I am going to. Just wanted to say uh, how cool this is that I'm talking to you completely offline. Aw, oh, thanks. It's kind of wild too, you know. Like no Wi-Fi, just me and you. Pretty rad, huh? Cool, guys. So if you want to build exactly what I have shown off here, uh, follow along. We're going to need a few things to get this going. First of all, you will need this repository. I will let, put this right below. Then you will need LM Studio downloaded for your computer. And, oops, I actually need to turn the internet back on because obviously I turned it off for this. You will also need cursor or anti-gravity or some kind of. So first of all, um, I would recommend jumping onto this. You click on download, you you do everything you need to to install it, and then you will get to uh, something that looks similar to what I have on the screen right now. Okay, so how do we actually interact with an LLM on our computer when the internet is down? I mean, we're not going to be using OpenAI or Claude or Gemini or anything like that. So how do we chat to one? Well, what we do is once we've got this uh, LM Studio downloaded, there's this little magnifying glass here and click on discover. And what you want to do is uh, type in Gwen3. So it's this model right here that I was using for uh, that demo. Uh, the reason is because it doesn't take up much space and it's actually pretty good at chatting. Um, you need to prompt it a little bit, but yeah. So what you would do then is click on this button here. It would say download for your computer. It will take a few minutes. You And then once it's downloaded, you'll see it come up in the chats right here. And then uh, you can click on the models to like upload them to the machine so that they'll actually like turn on. Then you can actually like chat to it right here. You can also uh, add in a, a prompt right here so it will respond the way that you want. If you actually wanted to work with the cursor setup, this is probably one of the most important steps. We click on developer right here. You'll have this thing selected. So you have Gwen 38B selected. Then the status, this button will be turned off for you. You need to click on enable to this button right here. Uh, for me, this is reachable, reachable at this specific address. Now, if you need to change it, you can come into the server settings and change it to one, two, three, four. You need to set it to one, two, three, four, because that's how I wrote the code in the repository. So if you if this is different for you, it will not work when we uh, do this stuff later in Cursor. <clears throat> Next up, you can also put your own prompt in here so it'll respond the way that you want. And then just click on save once you've done your prompt. Next up, you'll need to download Cursor or grab into gravity or whatever. And then once we own Cursor, we click on open project. Go into your uh, cursor projects and now type in YouTube voice AI, uh, local, whatever you want to call this folder. doesn't really matter too much. Then we click on open. Once we've opened this, we want to then press command J just to open up our terminal. And then from here, we are going to want to uh, just copy over my GitHub repo. So to do this, we type in these two words, git followed by clone. Then we paste in that URL and then just put followed by dot git. And this will copy everything into the folder that we need to swap into this folder right here called a uh, local LLM CD local press tab, press enter. And now you've swapped over to that folder. Now in here, we type in UV sync just to sync everything up. Now in here, we're just going to sync up all our dependencies after running this done. Once we've got this running, we run the next command, which will download our TTS model, which is actually how I came to do this project in the first place. So uh, I'm actually going to jump down and explain these to you guys right now. So I'm actually using Supertonic, which is probably one of the uh, fastest voice, voice AI things that are working right now with the least amount of uh, like memory or usage. I mean, the parameters are 66 million. It's, it's crazy. Um, uh, usually these are in the billions, right? So this is really awesome. It also, they are, you, you can also make this work on a Raspberry Pi, which is so cool. Just to show you guys some of the benchmarks. So for example, super, so Supertonic on an M4, this is like running right now on my CPU. It's, it's for example, doing uh, 912 characters per second, whereas like all these other 11 Flash and Kokoro or Gemini Flash uh, text-to-speech, they're, they're sitting between like 30 and 150 uh, characters a second and that's like anyway so that's why i was doing that so to download that model onto our computer we just click uh, this command 
uh, it will take a few minutes to download the 260 megs. Once we've done that, then we have to, uh, you know, download our LM Studio, which we already did. And once we've done this, we just click on uh, UV Run Python app. So we just type this in now. Oops, I typed in the wrong command. Uh, control, control C to just get out of there. This will now uh, run that on our computer. It might take a little bit of time initially when you start it up because it's like downloading all those uh, things and getting them all started. Hey, what's happening? Sup, what's happening? Cool, just wanted to show off that you are working. I just installed you. Oh, you just installed me. Anyway, fantastic, it's working. Uh, just. That's pretty much all that I wanted to show you guys on how to do. Let's say you have some errors and you have to do some troubleshooting. The error will come up in your terminal. You would select it. You'll click on add to chat and you say, I got an error and you just click send and Opus 4.5 will figure it out for you. It's literally as simple as that. If you also get stuck and you forget like some commands or you don't understand anything, then just uh, also select it or just chat to it in here and that should be that should be enough to get you going now um, i want to talk to you guys about the uh bit more techie parts of it so some numbers so we're using solero for uh voice activity det detection as pretty much as soon as i stop speaking uh, it will try and think whether it needs to jump in and that takes up about 50 megabytes of our ram um, <clears throat> We're also using uh, PyTorch slightly with the Solero, so it's another 200 megs. We're using Fast Faster Whisper, um, which is about uh, one and a half gigs, and it runs on CPU. And everything here he runs on CPU, by the way. So there's no we don't you don't need like a really high end graphics card for this. And this is the Supertonic uh, TTS takes about 500 megabytes just to run, which is super low. And our LM Studio. Um, and our LLM, which is Gwen 3, 8 billion parameters is about, uh, let's say eight gigs on the max. And, and we can, you can actually run this one on your CPU or GPU. So depending on how much RAM you have, so you could technically run all these on the CPU and you could run this one with this one on the GPU with uh, by swapping to a command. So if you want to run, basically you would type this in after the uh, command, so you would type in, basically you would go like this and then just type that in after your command, and that will then uh, make you run on your GPU instead. Okay, awesome guys, thanks for watching, and hopefully you learned something new and cool, and uh, see you next one, peace.